One of the saddest questions I get from parents is how to help a child cope with the death of a pet, like the late Zeus here. Well, let me see if I can provide some information on this all too common topic. First, it's important to understand that how a child deals with a pet's death depends largely on a child's age and personality. For example, until children are age five or six, their view of the world is very concrete. So they don't understand death, but they might understand you're telling them that a pet's body was not working anymore or it can't be fixed. They may not understand that this is permanent at this age, and you may have to repeat the fact that the pet cannot be fixed and will not come back. A key concept at this age, and even as your child gets older, is that he or she may feel that they are to blame for this happening. And obviously, you need to reassure your child often more than once in the weeks and months that follow that this is not the case at all. Avoid phrases such as the pet went away or went to sleep, since children may become fearful when you tell them that a family member is going away or going to sleep. Kids between 6 and 10 years of age do understand the finality of death, but don't quite understand that it's going to eventually happen to them someday. So providing accurate, simple, clear, and honest answers to their questions is the best way to talk with children at this age. Teens understand that eventually everyone dies. They may experience some guilt or anger about their pet's death, even at this age, and it's important to encourage them to express and share their grief, their anger, or their sadness. Parents, sharing your own grief and even tears in front of your children or teens may actually help your young ones deal with their own emotional pain and loss. Make sure your child, regardless of age, knows that despite the loss, you can continue to love and talk about the happy memories of that pet forever, and maybe over time, welcome a new pet into the family. Your child's doctor or your pet's veterinarian can help and provide access to books and, if necessary, counselors to help a child and family go through this very difficult time. Hopefully, tips like this will bring peace of mind to you and your children when it comes to dealing with the particulars in helping deal with the death of a family pet. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.